Hi everybody, uh, I'm not a poet, um, I'm supposed to be a stand-up, but basically I just tell random stories of things that have happened, so it's lovely to be, this is such a fantastic place, I've never been here before, I'm kind of, uh, if I get a bit distracted, it's because it's all the cool board games and spaceships around the walls, but I will try and focus just for you. Um, so, um, I want to talk to you very quickly, I, um, I'm a teacher, I've, I've worked in teaching uh, 20 years, I had a very, very depressing statistic. Uh, the other week, which was that um, a lot of newly qualified teachers leave the profession uh, within three years, uh, and I've been doing it for 20, and someone said to me, what, what, what keeps you going? And I honestly don't know the answer, but I think one of the factors is that children essentially are creative fucking mentalists. <laughs> They're absolutely nuts. And... Um, Basically, th this was brought home the other day. I was, I was like, wonder what I'm going to say at stand up, but then something just happens and drops in my lap, so I'm like, I have to tell people about that. I get to work, I walk out to the playground, uh, I'm the only member of staff there, and there's a bunch of uh, year seven, so 11 year olds, just in a big circle going, do it, do it, do it, good. With a carefree abandon uh, of those people who knows that once the it has happened and an authority figure arrives, they can just scoff. They're done. It's the people who have done it that are in trouble. And I'm now <laughs> looking at them going, ah, oh, now I have to stop whatever it is. <laughs> Damn. And I do, um, I do it's, it's not just a teaching thing. I don't know um, if you ever get this in your normal life, but sometimes you have a situation you go, technically, I have the adult skills to deal with this. <laughs> I am 44, but at the same time, I still think a monster munch and salad cream sandwich is a pretty fucking sweet deal. <laughs> and you look around for a more adulty adult. <laughs> Same with teaching. You kind of look around, you see a situation, you look around, you go, ah, is there, um, is there anyone else here who can deal with this? <laughs> Someone from senior management, perhaps? A teacher who doesn't look like Jeff Bridges came in on a supply day. <laughs> no, it's just me. All right, I'll have to wade in then. So uh, we kind of walk into the circle there, all the do it, do it. And um, what it was apparently, um, and this is beautiful, there, there are two year seven lads who have bicycle helmets on and are prepping up to charge each other <laughs> like midget muskox in a David Attenborough documentary, head first. Um, which is brilliant, and a part of me goes, I want to see how this plays out. <laughs> really, I don't actually want to stop this. This could be quite cool. Um, but I have to. Um, but then it went from, what are you doing with authority, to just, what? Because the killer was, in between these two kids lining up, there's one other year seven lad, and he's playing along on a harmonica. <laughs> And I really just stood in the middle, just going, right, you did you, you, what? <laughs> no. And it's moments like that that keep me going. And that was my story for you this evening. Uh, just under yeah. three minutes. I've got a shamelessly proud improv show tomorrow night at uh, Upstairs at the Western. Uh, please come along. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you. Thank you.